happen right now, you're sharing the opportunity with everybody. Because there's going to be people that are going to get started in December. And guess what's going to happen? They're going to be like, what? <laughs> Why didn't you share this with me earlier? <laughs> Do you guys see that? Yeah. So you want to make sure that right now that you're opening up your mouth and sharing. It. Real quickly, my background, I got involved in this industry, uh, you know, quite some time ago. And, and when I was, before I got involved in this industry, I used to work at Boomers. Wow. I worked at a go-kart track uh, right down the street here in Irvine. And I worked on turn six, and I used to hate my job, you know, and came from a real poor family. You know, my dad ran away from home when I was a little kid. My mom, you know, had no source of income, so we grew up on government programs. And, and I can tell you that, you know, when we moved to California from Indiana, you know, we, when we were living in the back of a, a truck. We had a little Nissan pickup truck. We lived in a camper shell, a little camper shell area in the back. My sister and I, and then we moved into motels, and we were just poor. And one thing I found out is money's not everything, but I can tell you right now that whenever you don't have any money in California, as a, as a kid growing up, you, people just would make fun of me. No one was like, dude, have you met the homeless kid? <laughs> this guy's super cool. No one was saying that. You know what I mean? Everybody would treat me weird because, you know what? I didn't smell good. You know, I'd take back, I'd go to, we would go to McDonald's before school, and I would wash up in the bathroom sink, and then I would go to school. And I thought, man, you know what? I wish that, you know, something good would happen to me. And whenever this industry appeared, I thought to myself, hey, look, you know what? I was only in high school at the time. I didn't have, you know, I didn't graduate high school, you know, and never went to, you know, obviously didn't go to college. And I didn't let anything stop me because I realized that if I wanted to be successful, guess what I needed to do? I needed to take action, right? I needed to grow. I needed to learn. I needed to get around people. And I never would have ever dreamt in my wildest imagination that things would transpire the way that they have. If someone, <laughs> when I came in as a guest, I was sitting in the back with a tank top on. Wow. If someone would have said to me, hey, man, and I was, you know, at the time, I was still in high school. If someone would have said, hey, dude, huh, guy that works at go-kart, you know, my boomers, dude, you're going to crush this. <laughs> you're going to make a fortune. I would have been like, what? No one ever could have convinced me. Right. But the reason why I'm going to tell you right now is because of growth. Right. Do you guys see that? Yep. If you, you know, you want to make sure that you, you learn and you grow. And that's what today is all about. Taking the time out on a Saturday, <laughs> right, to come all the way out here. I know we got people that drove in from Los Angeles, from Vegas. I know we got leaders from Vegas here. We got, I mean, this is it. Do you guys see that? I mean, let's give, let, let's give Brian and Michelle a round of applause driving all the way in from Vegas. Yeah. I'm thinking we should have drove to Vegas. <laughs> so let's, let's do this. So I'm going to, just a couple announcements, and then we're going to get kicked off here today with a great training. This is big. This is big. This is big. This is officially Huge. <laughs> you guys are serious. Wow. I don't know where we got. You guys are too serious. But here, here's what I want to let you know in your in your handout today, uh, in your packet. Hopefully you guys all got one of these. If you didn't, you know, right now we're going to hand it out to you. This this is the uh, registration form for the next event. We got Josh Wiles. <laughs> and we're going to do and, and we're going to do an after event, an after party with Josh Wiles at uh, for superstars and higher after the event. So make sure everybody gets a superstar. Uh, uh, that's gonna, this is going to be big. We're going to talk more about this later on today. But this is what I want to let everybody know right now. Everybody's going to Cabo. How many of you right now are fired up about Cabo? How many of you? Oh, you guys ever been out to Cabo? How many of you been to? Man, I'm telling you what. When you go, go out there, they got that little place called Lover's Beach right out there in Cabo that you have to take that water taxi to. And you can go jumping off those rocks there. It's not that dangerous. And you can, you can jump into the water. And they had that little Billigan's Island down there where you can get a couple, you know, big boy uh, adult beverages. <laughs> you can get some adult beverages there. I mean, this is off the Richter scale. Cabo is my favorite place. To me, it's like, it's like, you know, it's like Vegas. But, in, you know, it's like the Vegas of Mexico where you just have too much fun. Do you guys see that? So this is this, this little arc right out here. When the water comes up, there's a, this is, there's a beach over here that you can only get to if you, if you take a water taxi out there. This is awesome. I, I, we'll all go. I'll show you when we get out there. But make sure you get qualified. If you haven't qualified yet, get qualified now. Uh, we're going to be up. Then we're going to Greece, too, next year. Are you guys ready for Greece? Man, I can't wait for Greece. That's, that's big. My wife's favorite movie is Greece. So I was like, dang, she's going to love this. She's going to love this. Everybody knows about our new products that are going to be launched on Black Friday. Get ready for that. Uh, we're, you know, this is good. we have the CC cream coming out, you guys. It's going to be unbelievable. The hair clay, the hair clay is going to be. This this is unbelievable. The hair clay, everything's happening right now. So just make sure that you take advantage of this. When it's going to be launched on Black Friday, 
Just a couple announcements. Now, how many of you, how many of you got one of these right here? How many of you got one of these? Oh, yeah. If you could, if you could grab it and just wave it in there so we can see it here. <clears throat> this is, this is your, okay, this is yours. Now, th this is yours, okay? Now, you got to get a pen and paper out. If you don't have a pen and paper out, a uh, pen out, just raise your hand. We're going to be passing out pens here in a couple seconds. But if you fill out your forms right here, okay, this entire form, we've got something so special for you. You want to throw me that CD right there? If you could, that audio, I'll catch it hopefully. Dang it, I'm good. Here it is. This is unbelievable. You guys got to recognize something. Everybody knows Jim Rohn. Everybody loves Jim Rohn. Everybody listens to Jim Rohn. Yep. Jim Rohn's one of the greatest person development, not one of. He is the number one greatest person development gurus in the, in, in the world. You know, he, he mentored Anthony Robbins. You guys see that? You know, he in, he, he's influenced so many people's lives. But who, who, who mentored the mentor? Do you guys see that? Who trained Jim Rohn? Well, guess what? I wish, right? Here it is. Bill Bailey. Do you guys see that? Bill Bailey is, is the mentor of Les Brown. Do you guys see that? Les Brown, and guess what? Jim Rohn. This guy's unbelievable, okay? And I, I, I have one of his, 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 this is called the Lost Tapes of a Legend. No one has this. Do you guys see that? I mean, this, this, is, from, this is from the archives of the 1970s. But imagine being in an event just like this and being a, a new person like some of you are right now and being Jim Rohn. Do you guys see that? Some of you right now are going to be the next Jim Rohns. Do you guys see that? Yeah. This guy right here transformed so many people's lives. Bill Bailey did because he developed so many leaders. And what would happen today if you guys got the opportunity to be able to get your hands on an exclusive rare audio? Can you imagine that? Because you want to get into personal growth and development. What does that mean? You want to turn your car into, guess what? A mobile classroom, right? A university on wheels, right? You want to be learning all the time. You get in my car right now, guess what's going on? Mobile classroom. Do you guys see that? I'm always learning. I'm always growing. Do you guys see how smart that is? And I'm telling you right now that guess what? This is, the, this, this, this is what transformed my life. Why? Because the gentleman that mentored me in this industry, when I sat in your seats, guess what? When I got involved in this industry, I was fortunate to find a mentor. Okay? And guess who trained my mentor? Bill Bailey. Do you guys see that? So some of you right now that guess what? You got involved in secret and you've been getting some training, Right? You've been learning. You've been learning from Bill Bailey without even knowing because he trained me. Why? Because he mentored my mentor. I'm just letting you guys know right now, this is huge. This is big right now. And some of you are going to say to yourself, you know what? I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to get that audio today. Some of you are going to walk out here. You're not going to get the audio. In five years from now, you're going to look back with regret. You're going to say to yourself, man, you know what? I wish I would have, I wish I would have got that audio. Wow. And some of you are going to say, I'm up for the challenge. How do you qualify for the audio? Now, this is big. You've got to make sure that you fill in all the blanks. Do you guys see that? Some, I know someone's like, oh, that's easy. I've got that covered. We'll see about that. Because <laughs> that means you've got to pay attention. Do you guys see that? But if you fill in all the blanks, there's a couple missing pieces of this. And at the, in the, in the, and right when we're done, in the back, okay, when everybody lines up to get their uh, tickets for the next regional, right, with Josh Wiles, in that same line in the back, guess what's going to happen? We're going to be handing out, guess what, these Bill Bailey audios, okay, for everybody that, guess what, filled in all their blanks. So you got to step up right now and challenge yourself and say, hey, look, you know what? I'm up for the challenge. I know that probably 20% of you, all right, are going are gonna to struggle. You're going to have, you know, they call it attention uh, deficit disorder. Look, I'm telling you what, that's an excuse. I've got that stuff. I've been told, look, I'm telling you right now. I'm listening, I'm listening to the audios, right, because I filled in the blanks. Do you guys see that? So don't miss out on this. I'm telling you, it's a once-in-a-lifetime a rare treat to be able to get this. Everybody's fired up about this. And uh, I just can't wait, okay? I can't wait for what's about to transpire today. This is going to be the event of all time, okay? I'm confident right now. When you walk out of here, you're going to say to yourself, you know what? This is it. This is my time to do something special. This is my time to do something great. And I'm not going to let this window of opportunity slip through my fingertips. And we have, obviously, John Malott's going to be doing a phenomenal training this afternoon. And I'm not going to let the cat out of the bag. But we've got a, another special guest speaker that came from, I mean, from, from far, okay, to be here. <laughs> And he's going to be speaking after Dan. And I'm telling you what, right now, it's going to be unbelievable. So get ready for that. It's going to be powerful. But right now, we have a chance of a lifetime. We got an individual here right now that is setting a pace for not just himself and his organization, but he's transforming people's lives. He's, guess what he's doing? He's transforming people's lives. Okay? And he's one, I'm telling you what, he's got such a huge heart. He cares so much about making sure that everybody develops and learns. And he's going to share with you right now why the timing is better than ever before. Why Black Friday is the time? 
Why right now you want to be filling in all your blanks and paying attention to be on the edge of your seats and don't miss a piece of this information. Why? <laughs> Not just because of the audio that's going to transform your life, because of this training is going to transform your life. Everybody loves them. Everybody respects them. Everybody knows one of the top platinum, uh, you know, platinum agents in Southern California, a person that everybody admires, everybody respects. Ladies and gentlemen, get out of your chairs right now and put your hands together for the one and only Brad Daddy. I'm pumped, you guys. How many of you guys have been in secret before when we've had a Black Friday by a show of hands? How many of you guys have not been in secret before when we've had a Black Friday by a show of hands? Oh my God, you guys are in for a special treat. You know what? I, I was so excited, you guys, it, just kind of watching everyone come in here uh, this morning. It, you know, before John Malott came in here and before we got the products, I was kind of just observing and I saw everyone kind of looking around and everyone's kind of walking in like this, like they're all like... <laughs> Like walking around, like what's going on? And then John Malott finished, and everyone tried the products, everyone comes back, they're like, what's going on, everyone? They're all pumped, right? And touching themselves. Man, you guys are looking good. I can tell you guys have been using the products. No wonder. <laughs> you guys must have been in before Black Friday and stocked up on a bunch of stuff. That's what happened. So here you go. I'm going to fly through this. This is going to be the five key reasons why everybody's excited about Black Friday, okay? So make sure you fill in the blanks here. But the first reason, obviously, is because of the new products. How many of you guys heard about some new products that are going to be released? Yes? Here's the thing, you guys. Every Black Friday, Secret comes out with some, some exclusive holiday gift sets, okay? Now, these are going to be gift sets that are going to be put together just for Black Friday that can only be available Black Friday, okay? Then, obviously, we got, how many of you guys heard of the hair straightener that's coming out, right? Amazing product. Then we've got the hair clay. By a show of hands, how many of you guys have tried the hair clay? Yep. Oh my God. How many of you guys have not tried the hair clay? <laughs> you guys, I got the hair clay in right now. <laughs> you guys have got to try that product. Men and women can both use it. And then obviously we've got the CC cream. Now, um, if you're not familiar with the CC cream, it's just, you know, obviously something that, you know, blends the skin tone. I don't have any of that on. People ask me all the time, but, you know, I don't wear that stuff. But uh, the number two reason why is because the discounts and savings, you guys, now, let me help you understand why this is so important. Obviously, when Black Friday hits, here's what's going to happen. However big your network is, is going to determine how much of an income you're going to make. Because so many people spend money on Black Friday. How many of you guys agree with that? Yes. So your customers and your agents are going to do their holiday shopping online on their suite right then and there. Okay? Now, obviously, people are going to save money and save time. How many of you guys have ever seen those people waiting outside on Black Friday, like camping out in the tents, right? They need to know about Secret. You guys need to go talk to them. Because if they, didn't, if they knew about Secret, guess what? They wouldn't be camping outside. You guys see that? So you're going to save time, and customers can replenish what they like. Everyone's got this. Everyone loves this. And obviously, earn free products. How many of you guys like free? Say I. I. Everybody, right? And then over here, we've got the holiday gifts, which we kind of just talked about that. Secret products make great stocking stuffers. Uh -huh. How many of you guys have people on your Christmas list that you, always, you don't know what to really get by a show of hands? You're like, man, what should I get Bob this year? What should I get Sally this year? I don't know, right? Here's what I found out. I remember it was like last year or the year before Black Friday. I literally bought over $1,000 worth of products, and I shipped them off to all my whole family, like all over the U.S., and I got a lot of customers from that because when they ran out, guess what they wanted to do? They wanted more. Like, hey, where'd you get this stuff? Or I've seen this stuff before. I don't even know how to get it. I'm like, oh, well, you know, thanks for asking, right? So, and you're going to want to let ex people experience the products. And obviously, the key word here is you want to grow your what? Business. Everyone say it with me. Grow your business. So that's one of, the, one of the most exciting things about Black Friday is people are growing their business like crazy. Another th a key thing is you want to replenish your demo set. Everyone say, replenish my demo set. Say it with me. <laughs> replenish my demo set. How many of y'all have things in your demo set that you wish you could, you know, get, but you can't get right now, right? Yep. How many of y'all know people on your team that want the, to upgrade their set, but they can't afford to right now by a show of hands? Mm -hmm. Black Friday is the day to do that, you guys. Everyone upgrades, everyone replenishes, uh -huh. because the products go up to 70% off. So you want to also, you want to make sure you get extra products. How many of you guys have ever done wild parties before and you wish you had extra products to give away to incentivize people to book more parties by a show of hands? I'm telling you guys, I did this. I, remember, I did this one of the last parties I did. I, it was a smaller party. We had about, we had three guests there. 
And all the guests that came, since I had extra products, I just gave them all a salt and oil scrub. And you know what that made them feel like leaving that party? Amazing. They're like, oh my God, really? And they, that was like the first thing they did when they went home. Because how many of you guys realize this? When you, go to your, when you go to your first meeting like this or your first party and you come home and then you have the spouse or the significant other at the house and they're like, what did you go to? And then you try to explain it to them and they're all skeptical. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Imagine if you could give a product to your guest when they leave something like this and they can take it home to people they care about. And instead of them explaining it, they're like, oh my God, try this. Nice. Wow. You guys see this? Uh-huh. And now their significant other or whoever's there, they're going to be excited about what you're excited about because they're experiencing the what? The product. You guys follow me on this? So there, and you also, you want to make sure that you throw out the old expired products. How many of you guys realize that our products do expire by a show of hands? Some people don't realize this. I found out the hard way. <laughs> like going into a wild party with my mud mask that had been in my kit for like a year. And I hadn't used it because I was using other people's mud masks from them getting started. And then finally I had to use it and I pulled it out and it was like clay. I was like trying to scoop it and it wouldn't even scoop. Have you guys ever ran into this problem or is it just me? Yeah. Probably just me. Okay, I'm a bad guy here. <laughs> but here's the thing, you guys. You want to make sure you go through your products and get rid of the stuff that's expired so you can get the new ones. Make sense? Yeah. Awesome stuff. So last thing here is how many of you guys want to have a full-time income in one day? Oh, yeah. Raise your hand and say, I. I. This is it, you guys. For those of y'all that are guests here for the first time taking a look at this information, you can get started today. And within the next two weeks, build a, build a customer base and build an agent ba- base. And literally in one day on Black Friday, when that, when that time hits, every agent starts ordering, every customer starts ordering, and your income spikes. And I've seen people make $500, $1,000, $2,000, $3,000. I've seen people make $120,000 in one day on Black Friday. So this is it, you guys. What you want to be asking yourself, and I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not the man with the plan. I'm going to introduce the next speaker that has the man with the plan. I'm just kind of the guy that's going to give you all the reasons why, and the next speaker is going to lay out the foundation for you guys. But now that you guys have an idea of what to expect on Black Friday, this next gentleman is going to come up here, and he's going to lay out the foundation of what exactly you need to do every single day over the next you know, two weeks that we have going into Black Friday to maximize your income. How many of you guys want to learn how to maximize your income in one day on Black Friday? Say, I. I. Then what you're going to want to do right now is you're going to want to put your hands together for the one and only top platinum agent, Mr. Dan LaGuardian. We've got six days until uh, Black Friday, the week of Black Friday actually hits. And then you guys know what day Black Friday is on, the actual date, the number? This is 27, okay? So, some of the questions I've been getting asked is, what do I do from now till Black Friday in the remaining days that we have left in order to prepare? So I'm gonna lay out some things for you guys on what to do now, and then also what to do the week of Black Friday. Is that okay? Yes. If you're ready, say I'm ready. ready. All right, let's rock and roll. So, what do you wanna do right now? The first thing is you wanna make your list. So everybody's got a list in here. They should have a worksheet that has a list on it, yes? Yeah. Can anybody wave that in the air for me? It should look something like this. It should look like this one. It's just, it's just, you should see two columns, hopefully. Nice. Good. It has a black top, okay? Now here's the thing. Making your list here is, is a little bit different from what you guys hear about making your normal list with how to go contact people, okay? Your first thing is you wanna make your first people of your list is the people you wanna give gifts to. Why? Because the cheapest way you're gonna get gifts for your friends is through your own back office, which gets you up to 75% off and maybe even more off the products for the holiday season. Does that make sense? And on top of that, when you get the products for people, that's kind of like, it's a win-win. It's a win for you, because you save money on the products, but it's a win for your, the people you're getting it for, because if you pique their interest, like, hey, what did you get me for the holidays? Because I'm, I'm out, but that was actually really, really good, right? You can pique their interest that way. Does this make sense? Yeah. Awesome. Second thing is, who are your old VIP customers? Go into your back office and look at your VIP customer list. You can go back and see, maybe they haven't ordered for six months, but what you can do is contact them and let them know, hey... And you can even look at their order history. Hey, they bought X, Y, Z, one, two, three. And then you can contact them, let them know, hey, just, just so you know, just on Black Friday for 24 hours, there's going to be a sale. I know you got this product in the past. It's going to be way cheaper. And if you want to do any holiday shopping, this would be the best way to do it as well for your friends and family. Right? So you can hit up your VIP customers as well. Even your inactive agents, who are agents that have been around before that want to look sexy, but they don't want to make money. Right? So you can contact them. Hey, I know you haven't been, it's been a long time. We haven't seen you around. I know you're doing your own thing. But just wanted to give you a heads up that if there was any products that you ever wanted to get, you just, you know, 
maybe didn't afford them at the time, now would be the time. I'm not expecting you to build a business. I know you're doing your own thing, but I just wanted to give you the courtesy of letting you know that you can get them up to 75 to 80% off for 24 hours for your inactive agents. Does that make sense? Okay, so make a list of your inactive agents. The other one is people who owe you a favor. Who owes you a favor? You know what's weird? It's, it's, a, uh, it's a subconscious thing. When someone owes you a favor, you don't even have to tell them, hey, you, because you owe me X, Y, Z, you've got to buy, uh, buy some products from me. It doesn't work like that. It's like if you just ask, hey, can you just do me a favor, you know, do some holiday shopping with me, my family, whatever, subliminally, because they know, if they, everybody knows that they know somebody, you know, that they owe somebody, you know what I mean? So it's subliminal, they'll just, it'll already happen for you, so that works, make a list. Uh, any products that you personally want for your personal inventory, like what Brad talked about, so refresh on that. I know I'm going to buy a ton of Green Line, a uh, ton of M4s, peeling gels go freaking really, really fast, okay, you can buy a bunch of those, um, and you can use to restock on your business, but also, just for personal use, okay, I'm really excited about the hair straightener. <laughs> <laughs> Now, you know what I mean? Just stuff for you. So stuff for you and stuff for your business. Does this make sense? Yes. Okay, good. Okay, so here's the list I was talking about. Most people don't plan to fail, they just fail to plan. So let's start planning now. You don't want to plan the day or the week of Black Friday. Okay, number two. What you want to do right now is you want to set up as many um, parties between what I would say is November 20th, which is the Friday, okay? November 20th all the way to, to the 27th. You want to book as many parties as possible. Okay, so Saturday and Sunday are going to be really, really heavy. Monday is a big day to start the week, and then even plan parties on Thanksgiving. Why? Because normally people are with their families, yeah? yeah? So they're hanging out. Just let them know, hey, before or after we get the turkey, I got to show you guys something cool, which you're going to love, right? And then, yep, just book it all the way through. Uh, moving forward. Okay, so between now and Black Friday, while you're making your list, so here's the thing, Black Friday is a very, I'm just going to tell you guys up front, is it okay if I'm up front with you guys? Black Friday is a very customer based week. Okay, there are some organizations that are very agent heavy based on recruiting. Okay, I mean, I'm all into that as well. Here's the thing though, the week of Black Friday, aside from agent prices dropping, agent packages for starter sets are unaffected, right? So you can pitch the business as much as you want on the week of Black Friday, but they're not going to get incentivized to get started because it's not a lower rate for them for the packages. Does that make sense? Yeah. The lower rate is only for your customers and agents that are already in the business. So between now and Black Friday, what you want to focus, even though Black Friday is a customer-based week, from now till then, you want to focus heavily on your agents. While you're making your list of potential customers, you want to focus your exposures right now basically on agents. Right? So if you get agents now within the next you know, six days, you can have their launch parties as Black Friday parties, right? So you can schedule those in, you know, for the week of Black Friday. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then that's a huge belief check, by the way, because imagine having a brand new agent and their first week's paycheck ever, you get a fat Black Friday paycheck in their very first week in the business. That would be a belief builder, yes or yes? yes. Okay. So the week of Black Friday, like we talked about, you want to shift gears and go full tilt on, on, on customers. Contact your list, get them either to the wow party or to a sit down or whatever. And uh, he, here's what I'll tell you, is for me personally, I'm going to shift the way that I present the business. Okay, normally when I do present the business, I'm not saying you guys have to do what I'm doing. Normally when I do present the business, I'm very business heavy, okay? In a way, and when I do show the products, I'm showing people not in a way that like, hey, I want to show you these products because you're going to love them being a customer. I'm showing them in a way that's like, hey, you're going to love these products and, and you're, going to, you're going to see how this, is, this has become a billion dollar company and this is going to make you a millionaire. That's what, that, how I demo the products normally, okay? When, I'm sh when I go to Black Friday though, I'm going, to, I'm going to go the reverse. I'm going to go mainly on, you're going to love these products, your family's going to love these products, you're going to want to get, get a bunch for your staff. I mean, we even had Ashley Affin here, uh, I think she's, she's working some of the stuff in the back. She's a nurse, right? So she had a hand cream at the sink. And, and a bunch of forms there. So every time one of her coworkers went to go to the, the, the public sink, she would go and like show them. And then I think the dozens of hand creams. I had one agent also, Jan, his sister worked the same thing. She ordered 30 hand creams on Black Friday for her coworkers. Wow. Right? So that's when you go full tilt the other way. Now I do mention the business to kind of pique their interest a little bit, but I'm going to hit it with them later. That's my opinion. You don't have to do it my way, but I'm going to get as many customer orders as possible. And then, remember, then like two, a week after, two weeks after, I'm like, hey, remember the stuff that you, that you got for the holidays? 
And then you can mention, hey, there's a whole business side of it too, which you didn't even see yet, right? So we can go that way. Does that make sense? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Moving on. Okay, the Wiki Black Friday, uh, track your progress. So some of you guys, are you, you're going to have a big list, right? Just be really, really organized with it because there's no going back. Once Black Friday is over, it's over. You're going to have to tell them, hey, man, I didn't, I forgot to call you. You know, you just got lost in my sticky notes or whatever, right? Have an organized list because if you miss them, you're going to have to wait a full 365 days to get them back, right? So be organized. Okay. Um, Blah, 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 blah. I think we already went over this. Uh, agents and customers that were older, let them know about their family. Okay, and uh, sit down with your team. So don't just book parties for yourself. It also works to book parties for your team as well. So maybe you're gonna wanna book two parties for you personally for the week of Black Friday, for your family, okay? But then contact your agents. Here's the thing, most people don't know how to take initiative. That's just the way it is. I don't know why it's that way. But most people need help. They need mentorship. They need guidance. And who are they going to get it from? You. you. Right? They're going to get it from you. So you can contact your agent and be like, hey, when can we schedule two parties next week for you and your family and your friends? Okay? So you book your schedule. We're almost done. And then this is the big one, is work, work secret every day of the business. Okay? Work secret every day of Black Friday. Um, don't check out on... Thanksgiving Day, because that's when people are together, okay? Every day makes some kind of exposure, and you'll see that the requirements to be a VIP customer are a little bit modified as well, so the entry level becomes a little bit easier. And we're gonna get the prices either on the 20th or Friday or Monday before we're gonna get the prices, okay? Okay, now this one is actually the most important thing of everything I'm training on. I've, I've said all of that just to get to this, okay? Here's the thing, I'm a very real trainer, okay? I will tell you up front what is going to be great and what's going to suck for you, okay? And so to educate your expectations, is that okay? So here's the thing. Black Friday. Some of you guys, if you do this properly, you're going to make a ton of money on Black Friday, okay? So just my personal story, my very first uh, Black Friday, um, shoot, I don't remember what rank I was, but I made $1,100 for the day and almost two grand for the week which was bigger than I had experienced in any other week's period. 24, uh, no, the following Black Friday, I did $2,200 in 24 hours, which is almost $100 an hour. Imagine refreshing your back office every hour and seeing another $100 roll in from midnight to midnight, and regardless of what you're doing, right? That's insane, and but for the entire week, I made almost three grand, okay? So here's what's gonna happen. You will make, if you do this right between now and then, you educate your team to go out there and actually do work between now and then, you'll make a lot of money. And you might also hit ranks because so much volume goes into your business that you'll skyrocket. You might be an executive and hit Royale on Black Friday. How many of you guys are seeing this, yes? Now, there's some things about that I wanna educate you guys on. Is the first is that it's, it's temporary, okay? It's a temporary inflation because it's a holiday. It's a temporary inflation because it's a holiday your volume will go back to normal four weeks later, okay? Four weeks after Black Friday, your volume will go back to normal. So what does that mean? You might be a bronze coming into Black Friday, and like literally the Wednesday, like the Thursday of Black Friday, on the 26th, on Black Friday, you might go from a bronze to like royal silver on Black Friday, but four weeks later, you're gonna go back to bronze, okay? Does this make sense? So what, do I, what I consider it is like a nice holiday gift from Secret. It's like, hey, Happy holidays, treat your family out, great job for everything you've done this year, and go have some fun. But you're gonna be a bronze, freaking crown royale, then you're gonna go back to bronze, okay? <laughs> so don't be surprised. Why am I saying this? Because last year, we didn't educate some people in our, in our organization, and people thought, hey, oh my God, I'm a silver, and I've been trying so hard for so long as a bronze for nine months, and all of a sudden I just hit silver in a day. And so they feel like they're silver, and four weeks later, it just goes back down, and they just get dis disheartened. Does that make sense? So don't get disheartened. Just remember, it's just a bonus, okay? Now, here's the bigger thing about that, is after, after Black Friday happens, you have to keep working. Yes. You have to keep working after Black Friday. Here's why, okay? For some of you guys that don't know how our, our, our rank system works, your rank is based on how much volume was moved inside of the last four weeks. So this is what I saw some happen in multiple teams, not just mine, 
multiple teams last Black Friday because we had the biggest Black Friday we ever had last year in the company. So here's what happened. People going back to the same scenario. You have someone that went in as a bronze. Then on Black Friday, they hit Royale Silver. But you put in so much volume in one day that that volume will keep you silver for four weeks even if you don't do anything. Right? So it's like, hey, oh, my, I'm silver. You know, I worked really, really hard. So this week, I'm just not going to do anything. Oh, my goodness, I'm still silver. This week, I'm not going to do anything. Oh, my goodness, I'm still silver. And so they kind of feel in their heart like, man, I'm a silver. I'm a solid silver. This is never going away. And then third week, I'm a silver. Fourth week, I'm a silver. And then fifth week, what happens is because they didn't work, they go down to star. Does that make sense? Because your rank is depend on how, many, how much volume you put in in the last four weeks. So if you put in a lot going into Black Friday, and then you do absolutely nothing the following four weeks, when that volume drops, you'll go, go, go back and look at the volume that you put in for the four weeks after Black Friday, which if you check out, you'll go back down to like star. You'll go from silver to star if you don't have this in mind. Does this make sense? Yeah. So avoid that at all costs, okay? So not only can you go back to the rank you were, you can drop if you don't do any work, okay? So what, is that, so what does that tell you? Is that Josh Wiles is awesome. There's one, <laughs> there's one other thing. I thought this would be in a slide. What, what does that mean is don't burn yourself out, okay? Don't burn yourself out. I know a lot of people in our organization last year, they burned themselves out. They went so hard going into Black Friday that they passed out right after Black Friday and went into holiday mode. And then four weeks later, they were like, dude, I'm an executive. I used to be a Royale. What happened? It's like, well, you didn't do any work the last four weeks. That's what happened, right? So here's what I want you guys to think of it. I want you to think of it like a marathon in a sprint, okay? If you guys have ever run track before, ever been on one, you'll know that each, each like a, a mile is four laps around the track, yes? Here's how I want you guys to think of it, okay? We're gonna run into the first lap, okay? Run into the second lap, third lap is Black Friday. We're gonna sprint all of the third lap, but you still have one more lap to go after Black Friday, so go back and pace your energy for yourself so you can still finish that last lap. Okay? Because what some people will do going into Black Friday is they'll run first, run second, and sprint like hell on the third, and pass out at the third, after the third, because they give it all they got. And then they'll wonder why they drop rank. It's like, dude, I, I worked so hard, I worked so hard, I worked so hard, I gave it all I had, and I'm not where I wanted to be. I didn't finish the race. It's like, you di yeah, that's right. You didn't finish the race. You passed out at the third lap because you didn't pace yourself. Does this make sense? I'm just looking out for you guys because, I mean, I could upsell this to you guys. Just be like, yeah, give it all you got. Give it all you got. But I want to see you guys win in the long term, not just in the short term.